Uh, boys and girls, we are continuing with general solution, but this time going to learn graphical method. So if you are given an equation about the cos and you rearrange such that we have the cos of an angle equal to a value, we can simply use this form. So now I'm going to show you exactly where this form is from. Uh, we're going to use this through understanding. Right. Uh, this form is from a uh, mother graph of the cos. Uh, this is the mother graph of the course. Uh, remember, in grade 10, we only uh, did this part from 0 degrees up to 360 degrees. Now, uh, in grade 11, then it is overlapped to the negative uh, sides of the x-axis. Now, uh, let me show you exactly what does this mean and where it's from. Uh, if you can check we have the graph y equal to the cos of x. Now, we're going to uh, pick any value of y so that we have cos of x equal to a value. Right, let's pick the first value. Uh, the first value, let's say y is half. So, in line with y is half, let's draw a horizontal dot line. Right. Uh, when y is positive half we can see that we touch the graph twice within uh, the interval of 360 remember uh, the period of the course is 360 remember the what i mean is that from negative 180 up to 180 that is the complete period of the course graph now within this interval of one hundred uh, 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 a period of one hundred uh, three hundred and sixty, we touch the graph twice, right now. Uh, now the if the co if we have the cos of x is half, then we go into find the angle in line with uh, the cos of x is half. So when the cos of x is half, we're going to see that uh, this side, uh, the, uh, the graph will be in line with negative 60 degrees and that side will be in line with a uh, positive 60 degrees. So every value that is given of the cos of x, if it is half, then we're going to get two angles, 60 and minus 60. So in this case, it is presented as follow. We're going to present it as follow. For example, let's say we rearrange, we have cos of x is equal to half. And then they say, find the general solution. We're going to use this form. This is x equal to plus or minus arc the cos of half plus k multiplied by 360. Don't forget k is the element of integers. Then now, uh, when we work out this on, uh, on your calculator, arc the cos of uh, half is 60 degrees plus k multiplied by 360. That's it. This we have two general solutions. Okay, right. Uh, to explain furthermore about this form, right. Uh, if you can pick any value again, uh, let's let, let's pick minus half. Uh, we're going to draw a horizontal line in line with minus half. So in this case, we have cos of x is equal to negative half and then they say find general solution now uh, in line with minus half we touch the graph twice again within the space of 360 it means we have two general solutions about that function so if we touch the graph twice within its period it means you have two general solutions but if you touch it once it means you have one solution Right. Uh, so in line with minus half, this function 
the angle is 120 degrees and this side is minus a 120 plus minus so when we continue on finding the general solution we're going to present it as follow x is equal to plus or minus cos at the cos of negative half plus k multiplied by 360 degrees then you're going to find the solution as plus or minus 120 degrees plus k multiplied by 360 then we are done with the general solution so for any value that we can pick here we're going to see that we're going to touch the graph twice then we have angle plus minus any value that we pick about cos angle plus minus right until we reach this place when it is minus one when it is minus one is going to be minus 180 and plus 180 so from negative half going up we're going to touch the graph twice plus minus plus minus until we reach one right as we continue now uh, the sign of x is equal to a graphical method if we rearrange so that we have the sign of an angle equal to a value then we're going to find two general solutions we're going to use uh, these two uh, forms now let me explain exactly where these forms are from uh, from uh, the mother graph of sign right here is the mother graph of the sign of an uh, of an angle y equal to sine x uh, the first one is about the acute angle actually so for example if we pick again let's pick a uh, half positive half so we're going to draw a horizontal line in line with half so if we have positive half here we're going to touch the graph twice within the period of uh, 360 remember the period of this graph is also 360 from 0 up to 360 the graph is complete that is the cycle of the sign of an angle right uh, this will be in line with a uh, 30 degrees then when we check this angle is between 90 and 108 so it is actually uh, the connection of that one this is 180 180 minus 30 which is 150 degrees so the sign of half uh, the, i mean the sign of 30 is half and the sign of 150 is also half right uh, let's move on to the negative sides the negative angles right if we pick a negative half as an example again negative half right we're going to have a negative acute angle this this angle will be negative 30 degrees but that one it is between 180 and 270 how come because we subtract what that acute angle which is negative 180 minus an acute angle which is negative so this is a 180 plus negative 30 which is 210 degrees so if we are given the sign of x equal to negative half then we have two values let let's present it let me show you for example let's say we have uh, this cos i mean sorry if we have the sign of x is equal to a uh, negative half right uh, the general solution x equal to arc 
the sine of negative half plus plus k multiplied by 360. Sorry. Uh, equal to negative 30 degrees plus k multiplied by 360. This is the first general uh, uh, solution. The second general solution it is 180 minus that acute angle. X is equal to 180 minus arc the sine of negative half, which is negative 30 degrees, plus K multiplied by 360 degrees. Then the answer is 100, I mean two, uh, 210 degrees plus K multiplied by 360. So for every uh, value that is given sine of an angle equal to a value, you're going to use these two uh, uh, general solutions, forms of general solutions. Then we understand where these forms are from. Those forms are from uh, mother graphs. So this will help you also to answer questions based on graphs to find general solutions because you can also find general solutions based on graphs right now let's continue with the tangent now right now we continue with the uh, the tangent a uh, general solution graphical method when you are given a tangent of an angle equal to a value we have one form now you're going to see why with the tangent of an uh, uh, with the tangent we have only one general solution right using the graph because this is graphical method using the graph when you go straight to the graph remember the period of the tangent is 180 this complete the cycle after 180 you can see that 90 then uh, is undefined then is undefined again in line with 270 so on and so on the cycle is repeated uh, after every space of 180 right now if we pick any value for example let's pick y is one uh, and draw a vertical uh, horizontal uh, dot line so we're going to touch the graph here remember the tangent of one is 45 we're going to touch it in line with a uh, 45 degrees so if we add uh, if we add 180 then we're going to arrive here so at the interval of 108 we only touch the graph once we don't touch it twice that's why we have only one general solution so at the period of that graph the way the graph is behaving there's no way in which we can touch the graph tri twice within 100 the space of 180 degrees that's why for tangent we have only one general solution so uh, let's present this one uh, let's say we are given equal to one the general solution is x equal to arc the tangent of one plus a uh, k multiplied by 180 don't forget a uh, this is for k is the element of integers right then x is equal to 45 degrees plus k multiplied by 180 degrees that is the general solution so this means that every time at this cycle we can see it on the graph here if we add 180 you're gonna get this angle and this angle will be 225 degrees and if you want to uh, 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 go back to find another angle where the function is one we're going to subtract 180 in this case we're gonna uh, change k and make it negative one if you change k and make it negative one here then we're going to have 45 minus 180 45 minus 180 is 
negative 135 degrees. So we're going to find all angles starting from here when we add 180 each time. We're going to find all angles that satisfy that the graph is exactly 1. So that is the general solution of the tangent. Right. Thank you very much.